Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 112 scale Mezco PX Exclusive Arsenal. All right, <clears throat> all right, and here is Mezco 112 scale arsenal out of the packaging, looking pretty damn cool. So this is Mezco's own take to the character. Um, they kind of went with their own design, even though this is exactly the same as the Green Arrow. A uh, few minor differences, the differences being his leather straps are black, uh, his jacket is a little shorter, and the paint job on him has more of a gloss than a flat look. Now, I really like this figure. There's not a whole lot to talk about as he's the same thing as the Green Arrow. So let's just go ahead and dive into the character and see what he's all about. All right, and taking a closer look at Arsenal's head, they did a really good job on this. I really like the way the hair came out and he seems to have like a five o'clock shadow. Uh, this is a really cool figure. I don't know if you guys can see the shadow in there. But um, he also looks a lot older. He looks to be in his late 20s, early 30s. So it's not the uh, traditional young young Justice Roy or anything like that. But I really like the rotation on this. You know, it looks authentic. He's looking everywhere. So the articulation is great on the head. Now taking a look at his costume, I really like the way the red jacket came out. It's really clean. The leather straps and belts came out really, really, really nice. Um, the difference between that one and the Green Arrow one is this one is black, the other one is brown. Um, and I really like the gloss on the gauntlets, those came out really nice. And behind, on the back side, you can see the glossiness of the stash, looks really good. And then you can see the belt, or the, um, the knife sticking out right there from his belt, and that looks really cool to me. And moving down, I really like these boots. They have a glossy look to them, and the red came out really, really nice and clean. And the detail alone in it is really nice. So I really like the front of it, and the back of it looks really good as well, with the red leather straps, and then the pants running all the way to the bottom. So that looks really, really nice. All right, now taking a closer look at his accessories, here's a look at his bow. Has a nice red handle on there, and nice silver dry brushing all the way through it. Nice little details in it, nice and shiny, and what I like is this one kind of is really stretchy compared to the Green Arrow one. Next up, here's his left and right releasing hands. Really nice armor on the back of him. Here's his right hand for the arrow. You can fit it in perfectly in between his fingers. Right there. Take a look at the armor. Here is another right hand one. Here is a look at his dagger. There's the handle there. And the silver knife. Looks really good. And he has his close fist on, and then he also comes with this one. I'm not too sure what this hand's for, so. I guess holding the arrow. He's got a bunch of arrow hands. And then we have the open hand for the arrow to hold the bow. And again, the nice armor. And here's a look at Arsenal's arrows. Here's his grappling one with the red detail at the end. Looks really nice. And the little slot for the bow to fit in right there. Here is the grenade one, I guess you'd call this one. 
gas one, gas grenade, whatever, it would explode. Again, the hole there, and the really nice red arrow at the end. Here is, I don't know what you would call this one either. Grappling, releaser, explosion, tracker, I don't know. Trick shot. And here is the regular one with a very sharp end. And here is his triple arrow. All connected. And fits really good in that open hand. And this is the bunched up one that goes in the back of his pouch that has six arrows in it. Looks pretty cool. Fits perfectly in the, in the back. Alright, let's go ahead and go over Arsenal's articulation. So the head, as I said, could look up really well, down really well, right and left really, really well. The arm can 360 and an upper arm swivel, double jointed elbows, and the wrists are on ball pegs, so really good rotation, but no um, hinge. Uh, not much of an ab crunch, a little bit, but not much, which is actually is an improvement. Shit. Looks pretty good. Uh, has a rotation in the hips to rotate that much. Legs could kick out this much. Kick up that much. Double jointed knee. No pivot at all, but front and back. And not even that much. Down that much. Up that much. So the articulation is not great on this figure, as most Mezco, Mezco figures do not have the greatest articulation. But it looks like a hot toy. Alright, for a quick size comparison, here he is next to the Mezco Green Arrow. And they look really good next to each other. They're the exact same sculpt, so they're the exact same size. Uh, so as you can see now, the difference being his jacket is longer and his jacket is shorter. His gauntlets and boots have more of a, of a gloss as his doesn't. Roy doesn't have the green bands coming up his, his muscles like Green Arrow does. And that's pretty much the only difference in these figures. Alright, doing another Mezco size comparison, here he is next to the Deathstroke figure, and they look really good next to each other. Uh, Roy looks to be, uh, I think just his hair is a little bit taller than the figure, uh, but they look really good next to each other. So, And for another size comparison, here he is next to the Mezco Deadpool, and as you can see here, Mezco does a really good job with their clothing colors. Uh, the red really pops on both of these figures, and they look really great next to each other. And here's a look at him next to the SH Figure Arts Ryu figure. Um, so they don't look in scale with each other. Um, Arsenal looks about a foot taller than him. And if this was real, I think Ryu should be about a foot taller than Red Arrow. So uh, I don't think these guys scale in, scale in And here's other. a size comparison next to Marvel Legend Spider-Man Peter Parker. So I think these two look really good next to each other. Not really good, but the scaling works. You know, if you want to have um, Arsenal fight with uh, Sc Scourge or uh, some shield agents, uh, I think it'd look really good next to each other. All right, everyone, that's gonna be it for my review of the Mezco 112 scale Arsenal preview exclusive action figure. I uh, hope you liked my review. It was real quick, real short. Um, there's not a whole lot going on with this figure. But in my opinion, it is a very cool figure, especially if you have the green arrow, so these two can match right next to each other. Um, I really like this figure. Um, I'm not disappointed in him too much, but it is a great figure. Um, so go ahead and leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys next time.